Art comes alive on Kaya FM with Standard Bank. You're listening to The Art of Sunday, live from the National Arts National Festival Arts in Grahamstown. 12.48 is your time on The Art of Sunday here on Kai FM, home of the Afropolitan. My name is Brenda Sisani. Beautiful sounds are coming all the way from around the world. I'm out cocooned here at Jazz Town in Grahamstown at the National Arts uh, Festival, at the Jazz Festival. And, um, of course, I'm talking to everybody who's here who's just sharing in the joys of being in Africa on this particular day. And one other is um, uh, somebody that I watched last night, you know, play his part in paying tribute to Begim Selegu. His name is Andreas Chop and he's a, an amazing trombone player. Welcome to Kaya. Thanks. It's nice to Glad have to you here. here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we've been chatting, you know, as, as we're leading up to the interview. And, and I was just asking him what it was like to be, to be sitting in a situation where you're celebrating a South African master and, um, you know, you're a Swiss musician who met South African musicians with whom you made friends with that led you to this festival, having met at another, at another festival and got you an invitation. It just tells you how music travels and the friendships that it makes, right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. I think this is what the, this place is all about somehow yeah you know it's such a a, a big uh feeling of 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 community and uh of uh, meeting a lot of people who are on the same path like you and uh, mm. you can share ideas you mm. can can share uh emotions and uh, that's what this makes this place so, so special, I think. And yeah, and you've been playing trombone for 20 years. And when I saw you on stage, I thought you were one of the students. You know? <laughs> so I then asked, how old were you when you started? If anything? Can you give us a bit of a, a snapshot of your history as a musician? Well, I started to play the trombone when I was uh, in high school, I think. Mm. Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah. And uh, I played classical music first. Uh, that was actually my first. Mm. My first love, <laughs> and then, um, which is strangely enough, because it wasn't at that time uh, hip to to listen to classical music yeah. at that age. But anyway, uh, uh, at some point I discovered uh, jazz, and then uh, I found out that I wanted to 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 follow this this genre, th- yeah, this genre, genre. Yeah, because it's so much freedom in there okay. as a as a. Uh, as a musician. As a You're very lucky. I mean, you talk about having met Kesivan and Ayanda Skade and all of that at a jazz mm-hmm. festival somewhere. You meet some of our best and greats who are out there in the world doing great work and you find yourself, uh, you know, at Jazz Town here in Grahamstown and uh, you're working with the likes of Kalamon Belli and you've got a concert coming up with Marcus Wyatt in Johannesburg. What a life you're leading. I tell you, from, from my point of view, you, <laughs> you know. I don't know how this happened, you know. <laughs> No, I feel absolutely lucky to have these these opportunities, and uh, yeah. I, uh, uh, I'm really happy about it. What, what, why the trombone? I mean, I I, I heard you yesterday, mm-hmm. and I saw, and I saw that you know you've been friends with this trombone for a very long time. That's true. I I don't remember why I picked this instrument actually, but my mother just told me once that that we went to listen to a concert of a of a Dixieland band. And I, I just, from, from that moment on, I, I obviously I said I want to learn this instrument, but I don't remember it, it okay. anymore. This, but this, yeah, this popery you're talking about, the fact that, I mean, coming together with Kalu and them and this collaboration that's going to happen here, and that's also going to go to Joburg at the Obert, um, is, is, is that it's going to be a combination of Kalu's music, your music, and, and the rest of the band. But he was yes. talking very excitedly about the fact that he's going to do this music with three uh, with with other people at the back, that is not usually the formation. Um, what, what? How how has, has all this come together? I mean, as as a musician, for for the listeners out there that want to buy tickets and come and watch this show, what should they expect? <laughs> well, I think the core of the, of the of the of the show is Carlos music, and he has such a strong vision and such a strong voice, which is unique. I think. Mm. Uh, you recognize his music from the first, mm. from the first moment, and um, we listened to it, to, uh, to that, and tried to contribute something that that fits to his mm. way of creating uh, stories. Mm. Um, and I think the group that we put together is is fitting really nicely because everybody has a a big ear for for sounds and for for telling stories actually mm. not so much it's not so much about a certain um, idiom mm. is this an english word yes. <laughs> okay yes. it's not so much about that it's much more about being uh, open on stage to 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 let anything happen that mm. 
they can possibly be. So mm. uh, it's more really about telling stories than about playing chess, if you, so, so to speak. And that's how and jazz should be played. Yeah, yeah. for me, way. it's very much like that. Yeah. yeah. Where do it's we find the rest of your work? Anybody who's interested in hearing uh, Andreas Chop in a different way in his own uh, his own works, uh, how do we get hold of that? Um, the simplest way would be to to check out my website, which is just my, my name, AndreasChop.com. AndreasChop.com. Yeah. Chop spelled with a T S C H O W P, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that people do here a lot is that they bring their own, um, uh, you know, mu music. There's always a CD shop at the end of the performance. Did you bring any? I hear uh, Europeans <laughs> don't bring CDs anymore. They download. You know, we we want the hard copy. <laughs> I don't have any. Uh, right. Uh, I mean, I have actually CDs of of my collaboration with with the people you, you were telling Michael Kessiman and Shane Cooper and Kyle Shepard yeah. and my friend from Switzerland Mark Stucke we have a quintet together the okay. band is called Skycheck okay. and we uh, we made a CD last year in Switzerland we're going to release it in September here in South mm -hmm. Africa so um, maybe if the people want to, to yeah. look out for, for this tour would we'll be happy to meet yeah, no, them we're there yeah, we're, we're going to be uh, I think it's 10 or 12 concerts in all over South Africa mm -hmm. so andreaschop.com and of course don't forget hashtag jazz town if you want to know more we'll bring you the news here on the other sunday thank you so much nice to meet you thanks enjoy Likewise. the rest of the festival thank you